Hi, this is your girl Chobini, and this is my first YouTube video. In this video, I'll be talking about how I get ready in America. It's currently 5.15 in the morning, and I will be taking you on the journey of what I do every morning since I have to be to work at 6 a.m. I have to get up at a reasonable time to get ready to get dressed and to get there on time. I work at McDonald's, so I'll also put in some footage of me working there and what it's like to work there um, on a day-to-day -day basis. So I just got out the shower and now I'm going to do the peroxide mouthwash and I'm also going to do my ear cleaning for my gauges. So I'm going to start with the peroxide. You want to swish it around your mouth the whole time you're cleaning your ears. So basically about a minute or so. And then you want to do the same thing to the other ear. So basically, to clean my ear, I take it out. And I put the taper piece, which is the gold piece. I take them away from the O-rings, which is the black piece right here, the small piece. And I let the alcohol clean them while I clean my ear hole with the Q-tip. So I take the Q-tip the side that I haven't used already. And I put a little bit of the rubbing alcohol on the tip. And then I take it and I swab the ear like that. And then I fan it a little bit to dry it so And then I take the shea butter and I get a little bit, just a little bit, like this much. No, yes, like this much. And then I rub it between my two fingers. I put it on my ear and then I start massaging it. Like that. And you can see how my ear is healthy. 
Yep. And so I take it, I put the O-ring, one O-ring on top, and I just like that. And I slide the piece into my ear. This is a size eight um, O-ring, by the way. And I slide it through. Okay, now that we're finished with the peroxide mouthwash, I'm going to brush my teeth with the baking soda. So I wet my toothbrush first and then I put the baking soda on. I poured the baking soda onto my toothbrush, just like this. And then I brush. finish brushing my teeth with the baking soda I'm going to take this mouthwash that I got from Lush it's a mint flavored and basically you open it you take one only one unless you have really stinky breath but only one close it back So you take one little one and then you put some water into your mouth and then you chew it until it's dissolved and it's act, it acts like mouthwash. So I'll show you. You spit it out and then you rinse your mouth out. So now I'm gonna put my deodorant on. It's all natural. This is really the only deodorant I can use without it bothering my underarms. As you can see, it's almond and aloe. Put that in. So after I put my deodorant on, I do my face. So I haven't been using this recently, but my mom, she uses it every day. If you want to see her face, her videos, and her YouTube channel will be in the description box below. So basically, you turn the water on, cold, and you just wet your face with it. Like that, like that. And then you want to take our good old baking soda again, pour some into your hands. Like that. Much into your hand. And then with the baking soda in your hand, you're going to just put it directly onto your face. Like this. You don't want to put it on too hard because then you rub your skin out but you want it on hard enough so it'll stay okay like that and don't get it in your eyes either because that hurts and pour some and then voila And you let it stay on there for a couple minutes. Like this. This is the beat you can't touch. So you want to do 
a baking soda face mask because when it dries, it takes out all the impurities on your skin. As you can tell, I haven't really been doing it because I got all these bumps in my skin, but it does and it works really well. Like I said before, if you want to see my mom's skin, her video, her YouTube channel will be in the description box below. Also, as you can see, we have a bit of a mess on our counter because we're trying to take everything out and put them away since we are going to be moving. We're going to someplace new, someplace I've never been, ever. So if you want to know where, if you want to know how, if you want to know when, check the description box below. It's also on that channel. I know, <laughs> I know, she's so pretty, I know. Okay, now that we have the face mask off, you want to take your apple cider vinegar mix with water, shake it some, and then you're going to spray it on your hand a little bit. Or you're going to spray some on your hand like that. And then you're going to rub it on your face. Not too hard, though. And you're going to let that dry just a little, just a tad. So when time comes, you can put your coconut oil on your face. Okay, so now that my face is a little bit drier than it was earlier, I'm going to add the little coconut oil. Just went a little bit since it goes on really. Oh my goodness, how much I am using. Just rub it in. And you want to lightly put it on your face. And you want to go up and not down when you're putting it on. Go up. and after this part I usually put coconut oil on the rest of my body as well so I'll see you after that now that I have finished getting the coconut oil on and everything it's time to get dressed so I usually, I get dressed in the same thing every day. So it's actually, we just changed our shirts. I used to get dressed in the same thing every day. I just got a new shirt this morning, I mean, yesterday morning. So this is the shirt. These are the pants. Pretty self-explanatory. I put my socks on and my underwear as well. So I'll show you what my outfit looks like. This is what my uniform looks like. My red hat, since I'm still a minor. I have my cactus jack crew shirt, my black dress pants, and my belt clip on. I also have my little key. So after I'm ready, I tell my mom I'm ready to go, and then she comes and she takes me to work. Also, these are my work shoes that I'm putting on now. Hey mom, I'm ready. Ready for what? I'm ready to go to work. Oh. Yeah. You on time? I mean, yeah. Mm. So here we have the locks. You got your key? Way. Yes, I have my key. All right. So, turn the light off behind me. We locked the door. I'm not driving to work. Why not? I'm just looking. Mm. 
In this clip, I'm sorting out the caramel syrup and I'm also sorting out the iced coffee syrups as well. French vanilla is very popular in our store. And in the next clip, I'm showing off the pie boxes in our storage area where we keep our bags, our hot cake platters, and our salad bowls. And I'm also showing where we keep most of our bulk items. And in the next clip, I'm showing me making a Big Mac for a coworker where we put mac sauce, dehydrated onions, lettuce, two pickles, one piece of cheese on the bottom and meat on the top and the bottom. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share my video so other people can see it as well. After that, we slide it up. And in the picture, I am making a sausage egg McMuffin for breakfast. I have to go pick up Shell Baby. Where is Shell Baby at? Yes, yeah, so I'm parking a handicap spot because she'll be right out. And in the next couple of clips, I am editing, doing a couple of editing videos, some homework, all that good stuff so I can get some stuff done for my mom and her YouTube channel as well will be in the description box below. Please like, comment, share, subscribe so other people can see our videos and other people can see what we are doing and come along with us on our journey as well. So that was the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share. And in the next video, I will be showing um, my day off routine, which isn't that much of a routine, but I will show that as well. Please make sure you check out the channel down below. That's the channel on where we will be moving. And please follow me on Instagram, which will also be in the description box below. Thank you for watching. Like I said before, please like, comment, subscribe, share, so we can get out into the YouTube algorithm and more people can come and watch my videos as well. Thank you for watching and can't wait to see you in the next video.